tandem lifting using a crane and self-propelled modular transporter, is a specialized lifting and transportation technique used for moving extremely heavy or oversized loads. SBMTs are multi-axle trailers capable of carrying and transporting large and heavy objects, such as industrial equipment, machinery, or entire structures. When combined with a crane, tandem lifting with SBMTs offers unique advantages for handling and transporting massive loads. Utilizing a self-propelled modular transporter combined with a specialized lifting frame, provides a unique method for unpending a cargo from horizontal to vertical orientation. In this video, I will show you the process of calculating the load in a self-propelled modular transporter combined with lifting frame and crane during tandem lifting. In this example, we will hoist the load with a crawler crane and self-propelled modular transporter. The crawler crane is being used for lifting at the main lifting point, while on the other side or tailing point, we are deploying self-propelled modular transporter with a lifting frame. The lifting frame designed for tandem lifting using self-propelled modular transporters is a unique engineering concept. Would you like to know the purpose of this second pivot in the lifting frame? Later in this video, you will learn what is the importance of this in lifting operation. I forgot what they call this part of the lifting frame. Please let me know in the comments. If you love this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. To stay updated on my upcoming video, please click the bell icon and subscribe to my channel. This graphic demonstrates the process of transitioning the cargo from a horizontal to a vertical position. The self-propelled modular transporter will gradually move forward as the crawler crane lifts the cargo upwards. This is an example spreadsheet for calculating tandem lifting using SPMT and crane. You will learn later in this video how to perform manual calculations and utilize this spreadsheet. The cargo's weight in this example is 100 tons. The distance from the cargo center of gravity to the main lifting point is 12 meters, while the distance to the tailing side is 13 meters. The distance from the lifting frame's first pivot to the center of the load is minus 2.5 meters, while the distance to the second pivot is 1 meter. The first pivot distance is negative as it lies below the center of the cargo. Let us start the computation. Please take note of the formulas listed in the slide, and get your calculator ready, so you can follow me in my computation. First, let us compute the load distribution on each side when the cargo is positioned horizontally at 0 degrees. Let's define it as the load on the crane, and the load on the self-propelled modular transporter. The load at the crane can be determined by multiplying the weight of the cargo by the result of D2 divided by total distance between lifting point. The load at the SPMT can be determined by multiplying the weight of the cargo by the result of D1 divided by total distance between lifting point. Next. During unpending the cargo, the load on crane and SPMT is changing at certain degree. Let us assume that the cargo is already inclined at an angle of 55 degrees. Now, let us proceed to compute the load on each side. When the cargo is tilted, the first thing that we need to do is determine the new distance between the main lifting point and the tailing point. By knowing this new distance, we can calculate the load in each side. To calculate the new distance from the tailing side to the center of gravity, refer to the formula shown on the slide. D2 multiply by cosine tilt degree, plus D2 multiply by sine tilt degree. And for the main lifting point new distance to center of gravity. D1 multiply to cosine tilt degree. By adding this two value, you will get the new overall distance for main lifting point to tailing point when the cargo is tilted.
After getting all the new distances, you can proceed to compute the load on the crane and self-propelled modular transporter. The formula mentioned in the previous slide will be used to determine the load on each side. Once the cargo reaches a tilt angle of 70 degrees, the special lifting frame will begin to activate the second pivot. The purpose of this second pivot is to mitigate or prevent the SBMTs to carrying the entire cargo load. The second pivot is positioned high above the midpoint of the cargo. I will show the difference in load calculation when utilizing this secondary pivot compared to when it is not utilized. In this computation, considering without secondary pivot at 70 degree tilt of the cargo. This is the same formula in previous slide, to calculate the new distance of lifting point to center of gravity. After getting all the new distances, you can proceed to compute the load on the crane and self-propelled modular transporter. The formula mentioned in the previous slide will be used to determine the load on each side. Excluding this second pivot will result in a substantial increase in the load on the tailing side. Improperly positioned tailing lugs can cause the load to shift during lifting. This can lead to instability, overload, and potential accidents. By maintaining the correct offset, it can prevent load shifting and ensure the safety of the lifting operation. Now, let us do the calculation considering with secondary pivot. Only one changes in the formula, where we need to consider now the distance of second pivot to cargo center line. Tandem lifting involves coordinating the movements of equipment, to lift and move heavy loads. If the center of gravity is not properly calculated and accounted for, there's a risk of the equipment becoming unbalanced, which can lead to tipping or overturning and overloading. Knowing the center of gravity helps prevent these dangerous situations. After getting all the new distances, you can proceed to compute the load on the crane and self-propelled modular transporter. The formula mentioned in the previous slide will be used to determine the load on each side. By including a second pivot point, the load on the tailing side is decreased compared to when there is no secondary pivot. Here is the loading difference when the cargo is tilted at 70 degree. Without the secondary pivot, the load on the tailing side is 66.18 tons. However, when the secondary pivot is used, the load is reduced to 43.27 tons. Here is the sample spreadsheet I make, for this tandem lifting calculation using SPMT with tailing frame. To use this spreadsheet, just input the weight of the cargo to be lifted, the distance from the lifting point to the center of gravity, and the distance from the lifting frame pivot to the center of gravity of the cargo. By entering these data, the spreadsheet will automatically calculate the loading value for the main lifting point and the tailing side.